Hi guys, Mandy here with Norman. I'm going to try not to uh, get in the shot because I am a hot mess. Um, ugh, still congested and I have a headache that won't go away because of the congestion. So I think you're going to have to take something, but I hate to take medications, but whatever. You got to feel good. So I'm here with the life of the party, the always happy Norman, look at his face. He's like, are you kidding me? Uh, this baby. It doesn't matter how I'm feeling. I look at this face. There's just something about this face that just melts my heart. I don't know why I'm drawn to this kit so much, but I flip and love it. And Kari is such a wonderful artist. Um, you know, maybe not the most detail, but the way she blushes and everything, it's like the baby is alive and, and the, the face has moved and, you know, she just blushes in all the right areas where, you know, your hand would be like red and light. Like she's really good at bringing the babies to life. So I'm going to change Mr. Norman and, um, excuse his, um, tights. Um, because he was wearing jeans before, and I was putting purple on him. It's very light, but I thought, you know what, just in case. When you can't see it, I, I pretty much always have tights on my babies. I really do. <clears throat> I got him the cutest outfit. Um, I'll show you what I got him. I just ordered this from Gap. Um, there's still a lot of good deals going on from Christmas. Now, I know that this outfit is Christmassy, but red you can wear anytime. It's not like it says Santa on it. And uh, Valentine's Day is coming up. And this sweater was like, I don't know, like 10 bucks. And they're normally like $23 for these Gap sweaters. So I was like, sweet. It was on sale and then you got an extra percentage off. Um, and then this came from uh, Old Navy, which I've said this before. If you order from Gap online, you can also order from um, Old Navy and Banana Republic all in the same. It goes in the same cart. You pay the same total, and then it ships to you all at once. Um, sorry, <laughs> this says uh, here for the hugs. I got distracted. And I ordered him another pair. I had to order another pair of moccasins because the other ones I bought, I'm not sure if I ever even showed them. Um, they were gap two. They were zero to three. And his feet are just too big. I had to get three to six months for this guy. Can you believe it? <clears throat> Pardon me. I apologize. So yeah, had to get him the next size up. And they are a little, technically they're a little big, but they go on really nicely. And uh, his feet won't be all crumped in, scrunched in, <laughs> crumped. I don't know if that's a word. Um, so... Beckett, I gave the other, I tried the other pair on Beckett last night, actually, and they fit him, so I kind of borrowed them back from Emma, because I'd let her have them, but she never puts shoes on her babies, unless I let her, um, take them to the park, which it's winter now, so that's not happening, but when we go to the park, she's always got, she's really good, actually, she's probably better than me at dressing her babies appropriately for the weather, <laughs> she'll have little hats and boots and everything on it, she's a, she's a good reborn mama, so never worry about the babies you don't see on my channel, she's taking good care of them, trust me, so... There you go, buddy. I still don't have a tripod, so I totally am using my selfie stick right now, and I'm on my bed, and the bed post is, like, right behind you, and it's got, it's an Ikea one, it's got slits in it, so I shove my stuff, my stuff, blah, 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 blah. I shoved my selfie stick in there, and it's actually, knock on wood, <laughs> working pretty good. Now I say that, it's going to topple over on me. But uh, I'm glad that worked. I totally know that it's Tuesday and I feel like it's Monday. I was about to post. I saw Scentsy and I have a Scentsy face group. And I was about to post like an inspirational Monday um, quote. I was getting all ready to look for a good one. 
I'm like, yeah, let's put something good. It's Monday. And then I was like, girl, it's Tuesday. <laughs> oh, poor Tristan. He's having such a hard time getting back into the swing of being in school because it's been two weeks off. Um, he was miserable this morning. So I just gave him his space. And I was like, to myself, <laughs> mentally, don't take anything he says personally right now. He's tired. He's crabby. Just let it go. So I did. And hopefully he comes back in a better mood. But I don't know. I hate winter. I hate winter. Like, I know there's people who love winter because they they love being outside. They love, there's people, you know, skiers and snowboarders and whatever. But I just hate winter. I hate the, um, the nights get, are so dark and long and it's cold. Nobody really wants to be outside. Like, my kids really do like to go tobogganing and stuff, but, um, we don't have anywhere nearby anymore because they built houses on the um, property that we used to toboggan on. So now we have to actually drive somewhere, which is a pain in the butt. But uh, hopefully this weekend won't be as cold as it has been and we'll get to go tobogganing. Uh, sorry. Why, why is there... Oh, well. What can you do? Anyways, this is super cute. I might uh, wash this shirt because it's just... A hair too big um, but you know what that's kind of cute you know because it's like they'll grow into it even though we know they won't I hope that I don't uh, snot on you <laughs> I hope my nose doesn't leak on you mr. McGill he's like yeah better not <laughs> just his face I don't know if it's just me maybe I'm a lunatic maybe it's because Tristan was so miserable Okay, i have sure I've said this before, but my kids are polar opposites. Emma is the sweetest, kindest, most, the oldest soul you'll ever meet. Ever since she was a baby, oh, that girl is perfect. <laughs> and I'm not biased. It's 100% true. Everybody says it. She's just, I don't know. She's been here before, that's for sure. And, um... I never had a problem with her. She was born early. I had to be induced because I was getting preeclampsia. And um, so she actually spent a week in the NICU. And uh, my hat goes off to mamas who have to spend longer. Uh, seven days felt like five years. I'm not even joking. And uh, the minute she came home, she was just mine. I never let her go. Um, she even had some anxiety issues, separation anxiety for a little bit, but she bounced right back. Um, I started leaving her with my mom um, for just little bits at a time, like so I could go grocery shopping and stuff, and she bounced right back, and she was amazing, and she's go with the flow ever since. And <laughs> Tristan is Norman. <laughs> oh my gosh, Tristan, um, from day one, first of all, he had nothing wrong. He got to come home from the hospital right away, um, which was so weird for me. I kept on thinking, what's going to happen? What? How is he going to have to stay here? Like, you know, because that was my first experience. So I was waiting for the basket to drop or whatever you want to call it. And I remember taking him home and I nursed him and he just never stopped crying and crying and crying. And I remember that night going to bed and we had a bassinet in our room and I remember he just wouldn't stop crying and, and in turn I was crying and I said Jordan something's wrong something's really wrong with him um, and he had his belly button clamp still on when Emma came home from the hospital because she was there for a week the clamp was already taken off but Tristan's was still on um, I don't know if it would have naturally fallen off on its own like I have no idea um, but Jordan said um, I wonder if it's the clamp. I wonder if it's like, who knows? We didn't know. Anyways, Jordan gets out his pliers, cut off the clamp, and immediately Tristan stopped crying. And we were like, oh, thank God. And I remember telling, because you go to the doctor a week later, um, I remember telling my family doctor that, and he's like, well, I've never heard of that before. I don't know what would have caused it, but, you know, if it made him stop crying, kudos to you. But then 
a week later, he just started crying and wouldn't stop. He had colic. He'd cry for, he was miserable for four hours every day, um, every night. Um, poor Emma, like she was two and a half. I'd get her ready for bed and, and then I would be up with Tristan just, just screaming. He would just be screaming and he never stopped. <laughs> He's got an attitude like you wouldn't believe. And he has given me more patience, tried my patience. Um, I used to work with uh, kids and adults with special needs. So I've worked with people with autism, um, cerebral palsy, fragile X, um, you name it. And God, I thought I had patience for anything. And Tristan has just taken me to my limit. So Every day is an adventure with him. You never know if he's going to be happy or miserable. And it's the littlest things that make him miserable. And you ju I just have to go with the flow. I just tell myself, you know, it's just the way it is. So one day, I hope he looks back and says to me, Wow, Mom, you know, you were really patient with me. And I thank you for that. <laughs> one day that's going to happen, right, Norman? <laughs> this is the face I get from T all the time. <laughs> so... Long story short, that is probably why I have such a connection with this baby. Anyways, happy Tuesday. I hope you all are having a great day. I hope you're staying warm and um, having good vibes. Sending them your way. Take care. I'll see you again soon because I actually have a little, a little mini haul. Um, this was Gap and I have some stuff coming from Carter's. So stay tuned for that. Bye guys.